For the Sailor family of Frederick County, Maryland, there is no solace in the silence that now fills their home. He had such a big personality. Without him here, there's a really big hole in our life. This is our normal now. There's always going to be a hole. There's always going to be a chair here where he won't be sitting. I will never again have a big brother. Eight months after Ethan Saylor died while being restrained by Frederick County Sheriff's deputies who were trying to remove the mentally disabled man from a local movie theater, his mother Patty says it's still not clear how her son suffered a crushed larynx which caused his death by asphyxia. There is, has been no explanation of how his injury occurred. The Sheriff's Department investigated itself and cleared the deputies of any wrongdoing. It's just unreasonable to me to think that any organization can properly do an unbiased investigation of ourselves. A grand jury was convened and the deputies testified on their own behalf. But nobody that was in the theater that evening was, was called to testify. Why? We don't have an answer to that. And now his family is asking the state for help. We're hoping that Governor O'Malley or um, Doug Gansler, the Attorney General, can kind of help us with that by opening an independent investigation. So, but at this point, we can't we can't do it alone. We have to get the truth to know where where it went wrong. In Frederick, James Hash, WUSA Nine.